All right, uh, I guess today, uh, I guess the next thing to do is go through the uh, cave here. Oh, what is the cave anyways? Uh, right, rock tunnel. I should look up. Uh, I don't know why it's not as dark as I thought it would be in there. I thought it was supposed to be uh, like completely like y you know you couldn't see anything at all. Uh, yeah. Uh... Yeah. I forget. Uh, I think I was right to the end of the cave when I got defeated yesterday. In this guy. Ah, right, the Arduino again, yeah. Arbok would do good again soon, too. Oh, it's nice she had a uh, Macho and Machamp kind of themed there. some experience, I guess. really care if Graveler faints, but uh, I don't want the screen flashing.
Should be almost to the exit now. I have a feeling there's got to be a item hidden here somewhere. I guess not. Or maybe there was somewhere else. I think I'm probably past the point where, like, uh, any single tough Pokemon is gonna just wipe me out without being able to do anything. Uh, I think I've got uh, enough different types and different type attacks that uh, that's not gonna happen. Alright, finally get a move. Nice if Graveler would learn uh, some ground type attack already. Uh, earthquake or whatever. I don't, uh, don't remember what level you would actually start learning stuff at though. Actually, I should've just, uh, I should've got rid of Tackle. He's got Cut anyways, so, uh, that's just as good as Tackle, I think. Right, got the uh, Lavender Town uh, theme song going now. Right, so this is where I am not 100% sure where where you go next. Uh, if I go south, it will just take me. Uh, there's some fights down there, and then I uh, hit the slope or the Snorlax and can't go any farther. Uh, I don't think I can get up in the tower yet. Uh, I think I've got to get the Sylph Scope uh, from the uh, Rocket Headquarters. That's her uh, round and fluffy Pokemon she mentioned, I guess. Check what's in here. Ah, uh, now if I remember, there's no way to uh, delete HMs in uh, Gen 1, so Venonat's kind of uh, messed up now. Seeing if there's anything interesting in here. Uh, 
Uh, I guess that's everything. Oh, I don't think there's any point in really fighting every single uh, trainer. Uh, I seem to be already kind of uh, overleveled a bit. Uh, there's Arbok left to do. I don't think I've got any real uh, damaging grass or water moves yet. We're fighting. That's one thing uh, I'm looking forward to get getting to the. Uh, I think it's the, well the game center and the. Uh, shop there so that I can, uh, the department store. Uh, then I can get a whole bunch of TMs and start, uh, hopefully giving everyone a bunch of different types of attacks. Yeah, everybody is really underleveled. For some reason, or like the enemies are really underleveled for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I guess I well, I did grind a little bit at one point there, but uh, that was a ways back already. Uh, I wonder if it has to do with uh, because of the randomizer, they're getting like uh, all these Articunos and stuff. Uh, which are then, uh, they give way more experience than, like, the Pokemon they normally would have. Let's see what's in here now. Rhyhorn. There. Yeah, see, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what Pokemon I would even use. Uh, like, I've got Paris there, kind of being the HM slave, uh, and or no, Venonat. Uh, so other than that, the party's kind of full, and I don't know if I'm gonna need like. Uh, I don't know if I would keep one more to swap out when I get to the Elite Four. This should be Eevee, or this is where Eevee would be. Poliwag. Check out what uh, TMs are on sale up here. Uh, I think this is. Uh, oh, okay, this is the TMs. Uh, yes, I can't uh, see what they are. I guess I'll just have to try them. I got lost there, I forgot which uh, number I was on. Fire spin. Okay, so that's uh, stomp. Uh, fire spin, that's. Okay, nobody can learn it. Smog? Oh, I had that earlier. Bone club. Okay, yeah, so again, this is it randomizing who can learn what, and it being just all over the place. Uh, I suppose any of these Pokemon could wield a bone anyways. Uh, I don't know who I should... might as well give it to Dodrio, I guess. I 
Amnesia, no. Down to TM37. Oh. That's good. He, uh... I think he's given me as much as I, uh... Paid for them. Oh, never mind. That's, uh... Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, anyways... One, five... Uh, nine... the last of those. Rage. No. Leech Seed. Oh, well, that's useful, but I uh, already got one Pokemon with it. Mimic. Constrict. I don't remember what Constrict is. If it's just a better rap. Uh, if that's the case, Arbok will uh, learn it eventually anyways, I think. Okay, well, I got Bone Club out of it anyways. Hyperfang. Right, uh, that... I think that's got a really low uh, chance of hitting. I I don't typically like using uh, low accuracy attacks. Uh, so I don't, I don't think I need any of those. Uh, Slowpoke evolves through level up, I believe. Uh, Graveler should be uh, level up with the uh, randomizer, uh, fixing that. Uh, I don't have enough money for any of those. Immediately uh, drink in ways. Wait, was it? Uh, I seem to recall in the Let's Go Eevee, uh, it's not that, it's you talk to this person. Uh, I hope that's still the case. Or, no, I, I don't know. Yeah, I thought, yeah, in the original you have to give them, uh, something from the vending machine there, but, uh, in Let's Go, I believe you talk to that lady, and then she gives you a tea or whatever. gonna uh, head over see if that does it uh, might as well go take out the fighting gym uh, oh yeah I guess it's not gonna be the fighting gym anyways uh, Oh, 
Okay, I thought he would be immune to that. Uh, I guess normal types aren't immune to uh, ghost attacks yet, or... I don't know. Should have switched. I can beat this guy because otherwise I will get put back to the uh, other town's focus center. I'll have to walk back. Uh, I guess it's not a far walk, but uh, it's gonna still be a bother. I should go heal. There, so I don't use it. Uh, I don't use Peck accidentally again. Yeah, if I recall correctly, there's a bug in Gen One where. Uh, Leech seed, uh, the amount that it saps uh, increases with uh, toxic, so as toxic gets, gets worse, uh, leech seed uh, heals you more, which uh, seems to be what's happening. Alright, let's see what I can get. Wigglytuff, or Bellsprout. Uh, I guess Wiggly Tough. I was hoping one of them would be, uh, I don't know, maybe a legendary. I guess it's not uh, swapping them around. Legendaries are probably just uh, among themselves. So. Oh, right, I gotta get to uh, Celadon's. Okay, yeah, I gotta go back to Celadon's game corner. Uh, then I do. Uh, oh, I can get Fly actually now. I think it's just over here. I'm curious to see what the uh, Snorlax is. Uh, if it'll be something else. Uh, nothing interesting. I guess I'm not sure what would be an interesting Pokemon though at this point. Uh, there's not like a ton of them uh, in Gen 1, so... Yes. Alright, uh, anybody can use any HM because of the randomizer. Uh, but I'll just give it to Dodrio.
Now, I uh, go over here. Now, one of these guys uh, is supposed to give me his coin case, I believe. I want to get the coin case. Just so I can see uh, what the prize Pokemon are. So where... Where is the coin case at? Uh, it's, it's a guy in here. back and I uh, just want to see what it says in here. Okay, uh, it's not, uh... Yeah, see, if it told me what those TMs were, that would be nice. Oh, it's nice it tells me what the Pokemon are anyways. Uh, yeah, that's not, uh... I got 600 coins. Uh, that is not enough, actually. Uh, oh well, I'll forget about that. Let's go do the uh, rocket headquarters. Or uh, it's not the headquarters, I think, but uh, whatever it is. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I've got my one button set up to, uh, uh, like, auto-press. Uh, and that's what I hold down during the battles sometimes, like if I'm just repeating the same attack over and over. Uh, but uh, it didn't seem to work there with the uh, uh, coin salesman. I kept having to release it and then press it again. Yeah, like it doesn't... It doesn't work on talking with people for some reason. I don't know if it's just... Uh, if it goes too fast or something. I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, it is hitting A, I think. This B wouldn't work. And like, it'll repeatedly select the same attack during combat there. Like, I can just hold it down and keep selecting uh, Body Slam.
Yeah, they, they must have some like minimum time you have to hold it. Oh, see, like this is ridiculously slow. Like I can't imagine how I did this as a kid, just sitting here watching him twirl around like this. Uh, it is very worth it just to check what all these items are. Nightshade. Okay, that's a pretty good attack, I guess. Uh, I guess Graveler can learn it. I think it was a ghost type attack. Uh, Harden, I guess. I guess that's one good thing about uh, with the kind of sprite based game. Uh, the game doesn't crash when Pokemon use like illegal attacks that they can't normally uh, get. Uh, I don't know how the uh, 3D ones handle it, but uh, I know there are some other games where you, yeah, you can hack the uh, characters to have attacks they couldn't normally use. But if it's of like a completely different type uh, than what they would typically use. Uh, then, like, the game will just crash when it tries to, uh, use the attack. Uh, like, uh, Tactics Ogre on the, uh, Game Boy Advance. Uh, I did, I played a ton of that, and, uh, uh, I like using codes to just, you know, fly, make different characters, uh, classes that you couldn't normally get, and, uh, giving characters attacks they couldn't normally use and stuff like that. Uh, but... I found that if a character in that uses an attack that's, you know, of a different type than any kind of attack they could normally do, then uh, the game would crash. Like, there was, like, a set of equipment in it that lets your character use, uh, like, a Dragon Breath attack, and so any character who can use that, that set of equipment has animations for, like, Breath attacks. Uh... Okay, that's where I need to go for the key. Uh, but if a character can't use that equipment and doesn't have any other breath attacks, then you know hacking them to have a uh, breath attack will uh, cause the game to crash when they uh, use it. But since the, I guess the Pokemon just kind of bob up and down and then the particle, particle effect happens... Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter then. Uh, Super Fang. So I think that one's just a strong attack and it, it has like 100% accuracy. So that's worth giving to someone. Uh, I don't know who would be... Graveler just has Tackle for his normal type of hack, so it might be worth giving him. Uh, Dodrio, I think, has something, and I think he'll get Try Attack eventually. Uh, Slowpoke. Yeah, I, might, I think Slowpoke would be a good choice. I get rid of Disable. I normally just go with a bunch of uh, physical attack. Abilities. Uh, no, uh, I don't really mess around with uh, the fancy, uh, I don't know, status ailment stuff. Uh, it's just, I don't know, it's faster just to go with uh, hitting them with whatever uh, they're weak against.
queen's running low. Switch Needle Queen, Needle Queen around. She's getting uh, running out. Seismic Toss, alright. That's, uh. I. I don't know if that's a good one or not. I seem to recall that's one that it just does a fixed amount of damage based on like your level or something, which uh, isn't terribly useful, especially since the point of giving them the uh, fighting type attack would be uh, you know, uh, the extra damage against uh, fighting type enemies. Uh, I guess I gotta go through here again. bought that because I wasn't 100% sure if it was the lemonade specifically or uh, one of the other ones you had to give them. PP up. Awesome. Uh, Arbok has uh, kind of low PP on all his things. Reminding me of the, uh, just remembered about the, uh, an what I've seen about the animations, uh, yeah, it is kind of, uh, sad that the Pokemon games still have, you know, basically the same animations as they have here, like, there's so many of them, they just bounce up and down, and then, like, uh, you know, the attack just comes out of nowhere or something, uh, it would be nice if they would actually really go, like, all out and make, uh, you know, even, I don't know, even if they didn't go like really, uh, you know, every Pokemon has an in animation for every attack, of course, that would be too much, but, uh, I don't know, the, the ones where like they, they just uh, shift up and down and then like some particles fly out of their shoulder or something, uh, they just look so silly. The item hidden there. Uh, give it to Arbok again. Uh, reach seed. There. I shouldn't use Arbok. Yeah, I would like to see a uh, Pokemon game like uh, that was a like action uh, kind of fighting game. Like you could still have a team and travel around the world and 
you know, game levels and all that. Uh, but have the combat just be like, uh, action style. Uh, similar to like the uh, Metabots games. Uh, that would be nice. Uh, something where, you know, you move around an arena and then each of your buttons uh, does like a different one of your attacks. Because if you did that, then, uh, you know, po all the attacks in the Pokémon could actually be differentiated more. Like, right now, the different attacks, they're not, there's not that much uh, depth you can do in the turn-based combat. Like, they've got, you know, what their accuracy, their PP, uh, their damage, and then if they do, like, some special effect, and that's basically it. Uh, and their type. Uh, but you mostly end up just, uh, going for, like, the, uh, the highest damage, uh, attacks of each type that you can give your Pokémon. Like, there's not, uh, you know, there's not that much difference in them. Uh, but... And, you know, there's so many attacks that are just completely better than other attacks. Like, there's no reason to use Bubble over Water Gun, or Water Gun over Bubble Beam, or Bubble Beam over Surf. They're, they're just better versions. Uh, but if you did, like, something like uh, the Metabots style, you could actually, you know, make uh, weaker attacks useful, like... Uh, you know, bubbles, say, could have, like, uh, bubbles just float around the arena, or, you know, float slowly around, and they would kind of be, like, a stage hazard. Like, they may not do a ton of damage, but if you're running around through them, you're gonna get, uh, chipped down eventually. Uh, you know, and then Water Gun could be, like, a more kind of direct, uh, like, kind of sniping attack where, yeah, you've got to actually aim at them and shoot them, so it's a bit more difficult to use, but, you know, it may not be as super strong, but you could pick away at them from, like, across the map. Right, and then, uh, you know, Surf could have, like, a, you know, it maybe it does a ton of damage and it's got a wide area, but, uh, like, your Pokemon actually goes, like, surfing along on it, so it moves you around the map, so... You know, it ends up moving you into close range, so you can't, it becomes difficult to just spam it. Because you need, like, the run up to get the momentum or whatever. Yeah, like, there's so many things they could do with that, and. Yeah, like, if they did that, of course they're not gonna have every Pokemon, but then it would be somewhat understandable. And you could also have, you know, po not just the attacks, but like the actual Pokemon would be uh, more varied. And, you know, like currently there's no reason really to use like, a, you know, a certain Pokemon of other, o other, um, over like certain other Pokemon. Like, uh, you know, like Zapdos is in the main game just better than like Pidgeot or... Uh, You know, like, there, nobody really uses, uh, like, the, you know, Butterfree or, you know, Beedrill or whatever, because they're just weaker than other Pokémon. Uh, but you could have Pokémon be, like, uh, you know, some would be, like, really fast and you'd be able to zip around and dodge attacks and stuff, and some would be, you know, huge and really easy to hit, like, Snorlax is lumbering along and, you know, sure, it takes a lot of damage to take him down, but, uh... You know, he's a great big target that you can't miss, and... You know, stuff like that, you could, uh... I don't know, there could be tons of different things. And not just that, but, like, you know, their, their actual movement. Uh, like in the Metabots games, you've got, you know, tank, tread, uh... Metabots that, you know, they're fairly slow, but they can move around and shoot in all directions and stuff while they're moving. 
Uh, and you've got like wheeled metabots who uh, they can move really fast, but only over like smooth terrain. Uh, you know, then there's like two-legged metabots that are just kind of average at everything, and uh, I think there's like the ninja leg ones or whatever that they can run on water, and there's just all kinds of, uh, you know, different. Oh, and there's like flying ones, of course. It can some of them can hover and some of them can like actually fly around. Uh, so I think uh, now that that's done and I've got the what did I get? Was it the yeah self scope takedown? Uh, sure. I think. Takedown is an actual TM, I believe. Thought it was. Uh, shouldn't he be gone? Uh, I guess I gotta go to Lavender Town now. Yeah, yeah, speaking of the Metabots games, uh, that was another thing that was uh, pretty popular around the time that Pokemon was big uh, here. Uh, most people probably don't know, but Metabots actually did start uh, on the original Game Boy. I, I don't remember exactly when it was, but it was, uh, I think, I'm assuming it was sometime shortly after Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, there were uh, tons of games on the Game Boy. Uh, and then like the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy Advance and uh, the only ones we got in the West here were the uh, Game Boy Advance ones. Uh, but they actually did continue to keep making them. Uh, I don't think there's any new ones on the Switch yet. Uh, I think they were kind of running into problems, uh, like monetary problems, uh, the company. Uh, but yeah, they were, you know, there was several games, uh, they did the whole two versions thing as well, so they had, uh, the two versions of, like, Metabots 1 on the Game Boy, and then I think they actually, they made, there must have been three or four, or maybe more, Metabots games on the Game Boy, uh, each with, uh, two versions, so, like, there was a lot of them, and then they did that for the, uh, Game Boy Advance, uh, and on the Game Boy Advance, they also split into, uh, there was like the normal Metabots, uh, that were the, that's, you know, it's similar to Pokemon, where it's, uh, all right, these, uh, I guess the tower's full of Lickitungs. Uh, there was the regular ones that were, uh, similar to Pokemon, where it's the turn-based stuff, uh, uh, but then they also, on the Game Boy Advance, they started doing the, uh, Duel series, where they're, uh... At first they were, like, uh, side-on, kind of like Smash Bros-style, uh, fighting games. And they did, uh, there was one of them and one of the, uh, turn-based RPGs released in the West on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, but then there was actually a second, uh, Duel game on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, and then there was, I think, at least one or two other, uh, like, uh, turn-based ones. Uh, and then they made a bunch for the, I, I think there was some on the DS, uh, I'm not 100% sure, though. Uh, I, I'm assuming there were. They made a ton for the Game Boy Advance, and then a ton for the 3DS, so I'm assuming they made a bunch for the DS as well. Oh, I went and I killed that star you because I wasn't paying attention. I assumed it was the uh, channeler, but I guess uh, those are replacing. Okay, the star yous are replacing ghastlies, and the uh, lick tongues are replacing uh, haunters. I guess. Is it? Or I? Uh, I guess it's different Pokemon per floor, probably. So. Uh... 
They could both be the ghastly replacements. Yeah, so there was the, uh, you know, all the games in the Game Boy Advance. Uh, I don't know if they've got uh, translations or not. I played a couple of them, uh, just the uh, Japanese. Uh, and then there's, you know, there's a whole pile of them on the 3DS. Uh, there's, like, at least three of the, uh, uh, dual games. And then there's, uh, I think at least three, I think there's, like, eight, nine, and ten on the, uh, for the mainline uh, RPG ones. Uh, and I think their la their last uh, dual game uh, that was what to me kind of showed that they are uh, they're probably kind of hurting for money because uh, uh, they went for the they went the whole like uh, waifu uh, fan service kind of route where uh, uh, each of the characters in the game like all the characters in the game are like cute girls I think it takes place at, like a you know a girls school or whatever. Uh, and, you know, during the, the battles, as you, like, uh, damage their metabots, uh, like, their, their clothes start to fly off and stuff. Uh, so I think that was them kind of trying to, you know, scrambling to get some uh, otaku money. Uh, because they haven't... Uh, I don't think there's one on the uh, Switch yet. And not a new one. Uh, they did make a... Uh, Compilation that's got uh, a whole pile of them. Uh, it's uh, it hasn't been released in the West, and I doubt it will be because it would require them translating uh, like ten different games, so uh, ten different RPGs. So there's no way that's going to happen. So I, I have actually, yeah, I've played uh, qu a few of the 3DS uh, ones. I was, uh, well, I got my I got my 2DS to play Pokemon, and then uh, played quite a bit of that. And then when the new 3DS came out, uh, I ordered what uh, one from Japan. So I've got the one with the uh, Super Famicom uh, red, yellow, green, blue buttons. Uh, Yeah, so I ordered that, and at that point there was then like a huge uh, backlog of uh, Japan exclusives. Uh, actually, yeah, there there doesn't seem to be as many Japan exclusives on the Switch. It seems like most games are getting translated, uh, but uh, on the 3DS, anyways, there was quite a few, uh, and so and there was you know. Tons of them out at that point. Tons of them were being uh, sold uh, cheap, uh, secondhand. So when I bought my uh, new 3DS, I went and uh, bought just like a dozen, uh, like random secondhand uh, Japan exclusive uh, games for it. I wonder what this is gonna be. That would have been one thing, that would have been cool for them to have the randomizer uh, swap around the story battles like this with actual, uh, I don't know, cooler Pokemon, or, or ensure that they are unique, like if that was the only place you could get a kind of cool. Can I... I don't even know if that will work on him. Uh, yeah, so I got a, a whole pile of the uh, Japan exclusives on it. Uh, including some Metabot games. Uh, they would unfortunately, I think, be a bit difficult to play if you didn't know uh, Japanese. Because they do, you know, they are RPGs and they're very... They've got like kind of, they've typically got like a big world where you can go around to different places and stuff, uh, but it's very like story driven typically, so it'll be like, you know, you've got to go to this 
this somebody will say like go to this place to this town or whatever uh, and then that's just where you've got to go and if you couldn't read that that's what it said then uh, you know you just have to wander around until you found that place Yeah, I think, you know, people, like, you know, I've said, and lots of people said, like, the Pokemon games aren't really changing much, but the, uh, the Metabots games, they are really not changing, like, uh, the series has not changed, basically, at all since, uh, like, the Game Boy. Uh, like, it, you know, the amount of change from Pokemon Red to Pokemon Silver is probably about as much as Metaboss has changed from the first game to the most recent game. Uh, and they all they've all got the same story from what I from what I've played anyways. They've all got the uh, your dad is a like super like top secret uh, Metabots uh, researcher or Metabot cop or whatever. Uh, and you're a kid who really really wants a Metabot but for some reason doesn't have one uh, and then one day your dad sends you the uh, your first metabot which is like a top secret uh, you know one of a kind uh, research metabot or whatever room for it. Well, that's good that it doesn't just uh, mess up the game there. Uh, get rid of that. Yeah, and so then you take your, uh, your super secret metapot and uh, become the best uh, Meta fighter and stop the uh, evil rubber robo gang who is always uh, causing trouble, like Team Rocket. And yeah, it just—it's the same story basically every time. Uh, what else do I have here? Uh, I don't need to keep an HM. And they've always got the same, uh, the same metabots. Like I guess they, they must add more, but uh, you know, you always have the same, uh, you know, Meta B, Rokusho, uh, Cyan Dog, uh, Brass. Uh, you know, they, of course, they've all got different names in the Japanese version, but uh, yeah, it's you know, it's the same kind of every time. They're really pumping them out, and they do look. Uh, kind of cheap. They've got, uh... Oh, Thunder Punch, that's good. Uh, Slowpoke. I guess Thunder Punch is an actual TM, I think. Uh, I get rid of I guess. Okay, that's good. I finally got an electric attack. Yeah, like, they're, uh... They do seem very cheaply made, often. Uh, uh, a lot of the, you know, the character, the NPC animations in the world map are very uh, stiff. You know, they're what people, you know, say that the Pokemon ones are. Like, uh, you know, the characters just rotating on the spot and then, like, sliding out of the room or whatever. The one one of the Metabots games I actually haven't played is the, uh, the GameCube one. 
uh, that actually did come out over here. Uh, but from what I gather, it was a bit different than the other ones. It was more of like a racing game or something. That's the... Uh, I don't know, I'm just kind of remembering like offhand something I heard uh, like 15 years ago or whatever, but... Uh, yeah, this isn't working. Uh, yeah, I've never played it. Uh, Metabots, that's one thing I would, uh, would be cool if it kind of came back or whatever. I did have, I remember I did have some of the uh, Metabots uh, figures at the time. Uh, I got a bunch of them. There was some, like, I don't know, silly game that uh, they kind of tried to tack on with them, but it was all just like, I don't know, there wasn't really anything to it. It was like you roll the dice and, uh, Okay, Machamp, that's at least, uh, something interesting. Uh, it was just like, you know, you roll a dice, and if the number is, like, higher than the part on your enemy metabot, then you destroy that part or whatever. Like, there was nothing to it, really. So I never, you know, I, the game wasn't really the point, even though one of them was, like, a, an arena thing with, like, some fancy dice and stuff, uh... Uh, but I got that just because it came with, uh, a couple of the Metabot figures. Uh, but they were cool, you could, uh, interchange their parts, although they didn't, uh, like, you could swap, like, all the heads and arms and, uh, bodies and legs around. Uh, although they didn't run for very long. Uh, I think, like, I remember, like, I got a couple, and then they just all disappeared from the store, and that was it. And then they were gone. Uh, they only made like, I don't know, like 10 different ones or something. Uh, I think I've seen most of the Pokemon in the wild so far, so... Uh, I'm not sure there's much point in really checking. Plus I've got the full team, so... Yeah, the whole, uh, the cut trees are annoying, like, and there's not really any point in having them after this, like, I don't know, once you get cut and you use it on the first tree, anywhere past that in the game, like, they know you have to have cut to be there. So making you use it again is just annoying, it's just forcing you to keep a Pokemon with cut in your party. Especially with like how useless it is and how you can't get rid of it, uh, and how like yeah most Pokemon can normally use it, but uh, still not everyone. So there's I don't know it's I just don't like it at all. It's uh, I was very glad when they got rid of the whole uh, HM thing uh, in the later games. I think it was X was the first one that didn't have HMs, I believe. Well, the Metabots anime was good too. Uh, there was actually like a second uh, season that came out uh, that was Japan only as well. Uh, although of course it's it's been dubbed and stuff, so you can go watch it. But, uh, uh, I think that was it though. There was just the one that came out that actually did come out here, uh, and then the one that was Japan only. Uh, it's not like they have been making them there for. There's no other ones. Uh, that I'm aware of. Okay, our, our box is getting messed up here. Oh, that's slow book is. Uh, 
to switch these around. But yeah, the metabots on the Game Boy Advance, they're uh, pretty neat anyways if you haven't tried them. Uh, the uh, Metabots Duel especially is uh, fun because it's the uh, side-scrolling one. So you uh, build your Metabot, like you uh, pick like its arms and legs and stuff and uh, head, and then uh, you know, they'll ha they'll all have different attacks associated with them. And so you can run and jump around and stuff and uh, uh, you know fight the enemies. Uh, and it's two on two, so you design your uh, partner and select like their kind of AI. Yeah, all, all the uh, Gen 1 sprites, uh, they look kind of uh, off-model. They're all a bit kind of funny, although uh, I don't know, I do generally like the uh, Gen 1 designs better, uh, and well at least the, the early couple gens. Uh, I don't really care for a lot of the newer designs. Uh, I think the problem uh, is that they, uh, they've got just too many colors and stuff on them. Like the Gen 1, because they had to be kind of monochrome, so they look... Uh, you know, they mo look more like real kind of natural animals because they've got like you know one color and then maybe like black and white or something or like you know a, a couple like complementary colors or whatever but the uh, the newer designs uh, they're all just you know crazy they've got just stripes and random colored things everywhere uh, I think you know if it was up to me I'd have them uh, say like you know you have to design uh, like, the person designing the Pokémon has to make a, uh... They don't give the the actual uh, 3D model or, like, a fancy picture or whatever. They have to design a uh, Game Boy Color sprite. Uh, so they would have a program that would have, like, the Game Boy Color limitations. Uh, so they draw their Pokémon design in that, uh, and then they give that to the 3D modeler. Uh, that way, it would, you know, it would force them to keep, like, you know, reasonable designs instead of having just, like, millions of colors and stripes and stuff all over the place. Safari Zone, and then uh, get the dude's uh, false teeth, I believe. 